Fairy tales and myths are just that. They're fairy tales and they're myths. But it's a very foolish man that doesn't look for the greater truth that's often contained inside them. Um, the Christmas story is like that for me and it was like that for Thomas Hardy. His generation grew up believing that at midnight as the babe was born, all the oxen and the cattle and the donkeys and the camels all knelt down in the manger to worship the Christ child. Very, very powerful image. Um, Hardy's faith, such as it was, was shattered by the death toll of the first war and he never managed to piece it back together again. For some of you, you're probably lucky enough to have your faith in your head and your heart and each reconciles with the other. I'm not that fortunate. My head is always screaming at me that this is all just a fairy story. But my heart says, ah, yeah, but there's something in there, isn't there? And it's that wish that it might be so. And that's why I love this poem. Christmas Eve and 12 of the clock. Now they're all on their knees, an elder said, as we sat in a flock by the embers in hearthside ease. We pictured the meek, mild creatures where they dwelt in their story pen, nor did it occur to one of us there to doubt that they were kneeling then. So fair a fancy few would weave in these years. Yet I feel, if someone said to me on Christmas Eve, come, see the oxen kneel in the lonely barton by yonder coombe, where our child childhood used to know, that I should go with him in the gloom, hoping it might be so. My day of deep snowfall, a night of hard frost, all the flocks on the fells are like now to be lost. For who will go searching for my sheep neath the snow? For all the snow it falls softly, it strikes me like a blow. So rise up, my bold shepherd, away unto the hill, for the sheep are neath the snow. And the snow is fallen still. There's no warmth and no shelter where the fells meet the sky. And in those high places, my sheep will surely die. They are lost neath the drifts where a man dare not go. They grow weaker by the hour while the storm it blows. So rise up now, my shepherd, and out onto the hill. For the flock they are dying, and the snow is falling still. I see lamps on the fell side, where the man has won through. But the labour is hard, and the labourers too few. For the flocks lost and scattered down the length of the dale. And the snow will be the shroud, should they sicken and fail. So rise up now, my shepherd, and out unto the hill. For the sheep there neath the snow, and the snow is falling still. And there are those with great wealth, they have men at command. And their barns are all filled, and they've tenants on their land. But there's none will come near, and there's none venture forth. They say there's naught can be done, man, but they speak from their fear. So rise up, my bold shepherd, 
Away unto the hill, for the snow it is fallen, and the sheep are dying still. Oh, where are the good shepherds with their lanterns and staff that will tread near the crag's edge on their master's behalf? Oh, we'll go for my flock in the dawn of the day and bring them safe to me, bring them safe away. Rise up, my bold shepherd, and out onto the hill for the flock are neath the snow, and the snow is fallen still. For a day of deep snowfall, a night of hard frost, all the flock on the fells is like now to be lost. For none will come searching for my sheep neath the snow, and though the snow it falls softly, it strikes my heart like a blow. So rise up, my bold shepherd, and out unto the hill, for the sheep they are dying, and the snow is falling still. Rise up, my bold shepherd, away unto the hill, for the sheep are neath the snow. And the snow is falling still.